Yeah. Here we go. Another fun unboxing review. Hope you all are doing good. Today we have something very special. It's special because it's kind of unique um, in a way. We're um, opening a package sent to us from Glitter <laughs> Glitter Hippo. Let's try to say this right. Glitter Hippo. Okay. And as the card says, it's your source for glitter infinite. You see that little hippo? This is their little mascot. And they went and had it sculpted by the seriously talented, seriously silly K. Kathleen. Um, and not only that, but they launched a Indiegogo campaign, which you guys can go to right now. Uh, GlitterHippo.com will get you the link. It's right on the front of their page. Um, and they're basically trying to uh, get their glitter supplies in stores, as well as get their little mascot in the hands of people. They have already produced them, so they're just trying to recoup some of their... Um, costs in making stuff as most of you know making toys is not cheap so um, anything you guys can do go to glitterhippo.com check it out um, so let's go and dig into this so Wolf is the dude who's behind um, Glitter Hippo as well as Solar Color Dust and basically what they do it's a lot of crafting things, but primarily in terms of the toy field, um, they make a lot of rad pigments, um, stuff that you can embed into resin, resin casting. Um, and their latest venture is the glitter. Um, let's see, let's read this. One magical day in Hippo Land. Happy hippos were splashing each other in their lagoon when all of a sudden a spectacular meteor shower filled the sky with colorful light. Amazed to see the phenomenon, the hippos noticed a stray meteor speeding toward them. Without a moment to react, the meteorite crashed into the water near the hippos and quickly began to thaw. The hippos magically started to change color, sparkling and shimmering just like glitter. Thus, the glitter hippos were created. Their story, amazing. So. Let's go ahead and dig into this a little bit more. Some cards. Oh, and as you can see, we're about to, to look at um, some of these colorways that are uh, available. Collect all nine glitter hippo toy figures. Mystic, Flood, Pickles, Raz, Chomp, Sunny, Cosmo, Glitz, and Ghosty glows in the dark. All right, so nine hippos, right? Three, six, nine, yeah. All right, so let's go. Look, look at this, look at this box. We'll, we'll get to this stuff. We'll, we'll get to, uh, let's, let's go and do this right now, actually. So one of the things that sets I mean, everybody makes glitter, right? You can go to a craft store and get glitter. The thing that sets this glitter apart is it is like micro fine. If you're adding this to your resin casts, if you're um, doing craft projects with it, it's almost like dust. So it really mixes well. This is Fireball. It's a holographic glitter. so. It has that holographic effect. 
really nice packaging. Okay, so it's got the um, rip top on, on it and it also seals with um, Ziploc. The packaging has the clear cutout of the, the Hippo, but you can see what you're getting, which is really rad. So there's um, there's Fireball glitter. They sent me all this stuff. I need to start resin casting or sending it out to some of you guys who do, who do resin casting. This is my soul. This is more holographic glitter. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really awesome. And you don't need much. Like you can mix this in with clear resin into a figure. Gold. And this is teddy bear. Like golden, orange. Here's, um, what does that say? Goldilocks. That's wonderful. Really yellow. Holographic glitter, the pumpkin spice, obviously because you have to pumpkin spice everything, right? Um, stupid Cupid, some pink. No place like home. It looks like more pink-ish. All different hues. Um, this one is Grandma's couch. <laughs> And this one's metallic bubble gum. So there's those ones. Those are all holographic glitters. Let's go and open this. And uh, let's see what's in this one. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Yeah, I think I need to um, do some giveaways or reach out to some of my resin casting people out there. This one's um, purple or people eater purple obviously um blurble blurple it's so fine it is like dust here's uh the cool side of the pillow hippo tears with a really nice blue Rainbow Water, Envy, Snot Rocket, and Stardust. It's like your classic glitter right there. Glitterhippo.com. And honestly, I just went through all those. I don't think that even touches the tip of the iceberg of what they have to offer on their website. So as you can see, they already have their product made, right? It's packaged, it's beautiful, it's got um, holes to hang and craft aisles. They just need people to help um, fund this Indiegogo so they can recoup some of their, their costs. Um, so if you guys can, once again, I'm going to continue to say this. Go to GlitterHippo.com um, and you can hit the link at the top that says go to Indiegogo, help us. Go there, tons of different tiers that you guys can choose from and in those tiers there are these guys as well. So like I said, there's nine, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and they sent us all nine hippos. Okay, this is crazy. So, the standard hippo is, so these are the standard hippo colorways. So we have red. I don't know if you guys can see, but the sculpt that Kathleen, she put like, yeah, you can see it, like little diamonds into the skin. And this figure also is embedded with glitter. Awesome sculpt. It's a cool figure. Um, <laughs> it's really fun. Perfect size. So these measure 
uh, about four inches long by two inches wide by two and a half inches tall. Um, you can see the seam around the edge. This is just how they put it together. And I'm not sure what type of material this is. It's either PVC or ABS, I'm guessing. Because I don't think it's, it's resin. This dude... His little uh, his little front leg is kind of tilted in a little bit. I don't know if I can squeeze it out or I don't think they're rotocast, but it does kind of look like there's a, a hollow cavity in there. I don't know if that's just part of the production process. Little tail. So this is the red one, and then we have I'll put that down here. Then we have blue. That's nice. Yeah, the leg on this one's better, so that red one's a little, a little derpy. Look at that blue. Can you guys see like the glitter inside there if I hold it up to the camera? There you go. Really cool. And if you guys are watching, feel free to join the chat. You can answer any questions if you guys want to see something specific. So there's the um, the blue one. So you have red, blue. There's the green. This one is really cool. It looks like um, a candy apple. What do I do with those little business cards? Can I put them around here somewhere. I think they had them all on there. Yes, right here. All right. Figure this out. So this is pickles. I like that color. I would say he's more of a um, sour apple than a pickle. I don't know if the uh, camera can pick that up. Really nice sculpt once again. Little diamonds cut into the um, the skin. He's a glitter hippo. Infused infused with meteorite dust and juice. Right? That's how the story goes. So we did red, blue, green. Then we have yellow. Almost like a gold. And this dude's name is Sonny. It's bright yellow. So there's Sonny. Yellow. Then we have orange. Oh, dude, that is cool. This is almost like a day glow orange. That is bright. This is Chomp. And then we have Purple. Which one's Purple? This one? Yeah. That is a cool purple. So if you're just joining, we're checking out Glitter Hippo. Um, Glitterhippo.com. They're running an Indiegogo campaign to uh, help recoup some of their um, the money that they spent on production, all this stuff. Their main goal is to get into major craft stores like Michael's, um, any other craft store, Hobby Lobby, things like that. Um, so they're using the money from their Indiegogo campaign to you know, push promotions, marketing, things like that. Really nice purple. So those are the standard um, hippos, and then we have Chase versions, which is glow in the dark. Which it's got to be that one, right? Should I turn the lights off? See if they glow. All right, I'll do it. Shh. 
shoot. I want to eat them all too, Katner. How you doing, buddy? All right, so I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna charge this guy up. I'm gonna turn these lights off. See if we can't see how good this thing glows. So there's one light. Two lights. Oh, that's worth the monitors too, I guess. We're going radio silent here. There we go. And I just charged that for like 15 seconds. Not long at all. Nice glow. So there's the glow in the dark. Alright. Turn my monitors back on. Doo -doo -doo. And then we have, so I was glow in the dark, and then we have clear. the clear you can really see the inside and you can see that little cavern I was talking about how it's pr produced it's very interesting I, th I do think it is hollow I don't think it's rotocast I'm not sure in that process but you can kind of see the joint the seam in the head it doesn't bother me I mean honestly I been into designer toys for so long like little things like that they don't bother me because I understand the process for the most part you got to do what you got to do so it's like a ice you can see the glitter in there it's like a holographic pretty neat and then the last one is black So according to Wolf, he tells me that um, that there is a tenth hippo, and it's a hot pink translucent hippo, um, and I think that's going to be part of his uh, crowdfunding campaign, maybe an unlocked tier or something like that. Um, but just like going to their their Indiegogo right now, they have. They're 25% funded. They got about a month left. Um, and, I mean, you can go as low as 10 bucks to help pledge. There's a $20 one. There's a $25 tier. There's a $35 tier. There's a $45 tier. $55, $65, $75, $80. I mean, you can basically go all the way up to 500. 500 actually gets you the um, glitter hippo resin prototype sent to the factory, sculpted by Seriously Silly K, which is a really cool tier. So you get the original sculpt, or I'm sorry, a resin cast that um, Kathleen sent off to the, the factory. And, you know, with each tier comes, you get to choose three rare chase hippos. You get um, you get a hundred pack of glitter hippo brand glitter. That's the $500 tier. You get a hundred of, hundred of these. I mean, it, if you're into crafting, resin casting, um, you, you could be set. So for sure, please check it out, share this video, share GlitterHippo.com with your friends, with your grandma, with your mom, any other crafty type people, your, your aunts, uncles, sisters, let them know about the crowdfunding campaign, help these guys um, get funded, get some, some cash back for all the the production they did on all these rad little figures these little hippos glitter hippos 
And I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I do think that I will do a giveaway. Because I don't have a use for all this stuff. Then again, I do have a three and a half year old who likes to craft. So um, I may just keep it all and make awesome glitter art for days. Cool, so anybody got any questions that's watching? Anybody want to see more? Certain one, There's the yellow, the green. Here's the glow in the dark again. Here's the blue, really nice colors. And then, once again, all the packs of glitter, I can't even pick them all up, there's so many. So many. Glitterhippo.com So yeah, your resin caster, toy maker, crafter, this stuff is awesome. Super fine glitter that you can embed in any resin, glue to stuff, glitter, hippo, and then make cool little figures sculpted by Kathleen, seriously silly K. Can't beat that. Once again, please hit up glitterhippo.com. Go help these guys get some of their cash back. Cool? Right on. Well, thank you all for watching. I'm going to be having a lot of fun doing some more reviews in the next couple weeks. Um, if it doesn't get too late, which it is already. <laughs> life of a parent, life of a dad. Um, but I have, I have plenty of toys to review, plenty of toys to open up. Got some dunnies to talk about. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a busy couple weeks. Hope you can all stick around and watch my little live reviews. It'll probably be around this time. Uh, 10, 45, 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time in the evening. So, um, you guys can, I think, subscribe or turn on notifications. So when we go live, you get a little blip on your Facebook to say, hey, he's live right now. You can either choose to watch it or just close the window. But it's nice to be notified. Cool. All right. You guys have a good night. Night, Jeremiah, Jason, Jay, Chris, anybody else who I'm missing that I, that's watching right now. Until next time. Peace outside.